Hi everyone, it's the Phototechie here. Just a very quick video today. I want to share my experience of using this EasyCo HDMI 2.0 uh, optical extractor um, on Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. So this thing actually cost around $29.99 here in UK on Amazon, uh, sometimes even cheaper. I got it for like £24. It was on a deal. Uh, what you get in the box is it comes in a very simple sort of box and you get um, a very basic a USB A to micro USB cable. Uh, it's not that long, uh, but you know you, it needs power, so you do need one. And uh, they provide you with this um, a tiny SIM ejector tool kind of pin because uh, there is a port here that says update um, on it. And if you need to do that, they, on the instructions manual, it didn't tell me how to do it, but on their website there are instructions if you do need to update it. For me, it just worked out of the box. I didn't have to do any of that. Uh, but yeah, you do get that in the box. Uh, the instructions manual, it's a printed thing, not bad, tells you what it is capable of. Uh, one thing just to let you know, these settings that it has, it has a lot of different settings for like scalers and what kind of output, you know, if you are converting it to something. I kept them all off because for me it just worked on the consoles, but they actually printed behind the device as well, because uh, they are very small on the um, instructions manual. So you can actually just see what these things do if you if you need to change them. Uh, simple design, uh, HDMI in and the power in on one end and you have the HDMI out and optical out. It also has the stereo out port as well. Um, so you can use that with I think the RCA cables or something but I was um, checking only the optical um, sort of um, output from this. My biggest thing was you know playing Call of Duty online. I just wanted to check if there is um, a latency because you know, you if you have something like the Astro uh, A40 mix amp for Xbox, it works over USB, but some of the things don't work. And then if you have the Creative G6, again, it works with the USB on PlayStation 5. But if you need, you know, the optical audio, I just wanted to check um, how much of an improvement optical audio will give and, um, and if there is any latency. So I did a lot of tests with this one on Xbox and on PlayStation, and I'm happy to say Every test that I did, it did not um, increase any latency. So I tested at 120 frames on 1080 um, because this is a HDMI 2.0, so it can't do 4K. I don't even have a 4K monitor anyway. So all my testing was done on um, 144 hertz 1080 p monitor. By G-Story, I kept the monitor same, the cable same, everything. I did the test without this, uh, and I got around 40 to 50 millisecond input lag, and when I used this, same thing, both on Xbox and on PlayStation 5. Series X and PlayStation 5. So very, very good. Uh, only um, issues that I had with the device was, uh, is this cable that came with it. I initially noticed uh, sort of a buzzing in the audio. Uh, I thought it was my device. I thought it was my Astro, but it wasn't. It was actually, once I changed the cable, that went away and it's a bit rattly, the internals, you know, a bit rattly. Um, but that, that those are the only things also you need a the other drawback of something like this could be the, the cables. You need a power, you need one HDMI going in, HDMI coming out, optical cables are so stiff, you know, so you, you need to use that as well. So it's a bit of a clutter, but as you know, for the device, if you have uh, even up to 4K 60 and you are looking for HDMI um, optical extractor, this absolutely works perfectly. I use it every day. It does get a bit warm, so it's advisable to maybe not keep it um, at the exhaust on the PlayStation 5 or something because I felt that this was getting warm. I don't know how, I mean, I've used it for long gaming sessions, nothing happened. It wasn't behind my PlayStation, it was beside it. It was just something that I felt that it was getting a little bit warm. But yeah, all in all, I think definitely worth the money. Uh, and uh, if you are looking for a solution like this, I will make a detailed video on uh, the G6 and um, uh, Astro A40 because there's a lot of things to cover. Uh, and should you even be using one, but if you are in the market uh, for one, uh, check this out. Thank you so much for watching this video, and um, thanks a lot to everybody who subscribed. I really appreciate you guys, um, and I'll see you in my next one. Thanks, bye-bye.